Radio Commons Video Studio. I'm David Morris, joined by Mary Malone and Ashley R. and all. We have some exciting news, uh, a new joint partnership or effort between Oklahoma City Public Schools and the Foundation for Oklahoma City Public Schools to be announced. And uh, it's called Partners in Action. And uh, Mary, I'll start with you. You are the CEO and president of the Foundation for uh, Oklahoma City Public Schools. Thank you both, by the way, for coming in and your time. Thank I you, appreciate Dave. it. But tell us about Partners in Action. Well, this is a very exciting new initiative that is a collaboration between Oklahoma City Public Schools District and the foundation that is an effort to connect community partners interested in helping our schools, connecting them directly with the schools and their needs. So we're using technology. It's the first time something like this has been done in our community and, and will allow us to, to really strategically connect community partners and what they want to do for the schools and schools with their needs. It seems so obvious and it seems like a really good idea. You have needs and we'll get into that in a second with the Oklahoma City Public Schools and then of course there's so many good community businesses and agencies and partners here in Oklahoma City who want to get involved but perhaps there's that bridge that needs to be built there. That's absolutely right. What, what we found is that there are so many people out there who want to be part of helping we want to be part of the solution in helping the schools, but they don't quite know how to plug in. There are a lot of community partners already very actively engaged in our schools, but what we haven't been able to do is have any way of monitoring what they're doing. So they, community partners are going to schools directly many times. Sometimes they call Ashley at her office and say, we want to help. This technology piece is really going to be the game changer to help us keep track and it will allow us to look for gaps. There are some schools that are getting a lot of support, Perhaps a lot that, of support, that and more. others that, that really need more. So our goal overall is to connect community partners in every school, in every classroom in the district. Ashley is community relations manager for Oklahoma City Public Schools. When they call you up and say, hey, Ashley, we, we want to help, traditionally what have you been, what was your answer to that? Well, we have needs in this, this, and this area. It's all been, kind of in an Excel spreadsheet at this point. <laughs> it's a lot to keep up with. Um, the human relationship component is so important. We know that there are a lot of community partners in Oklahoma City who want to help and have the resources to help, but aren't really sure where or how to connect those to our schools. And our schools have indicated to us that they have needs, but they're not really sure how to share that with the community. So the, the software that Mary mentioned will allow our schools to list and make known publicly what they need. And the community will be able to view that online and satisfy that if they're able to with resources um, that they may have available. Seems like a great idea and a great use of technology and of course we're all on our cell phones and laptops all the time so it's a great way to be wherever you are but still identify with that need. You guys can say hey we need chalkboards or we need a roof and the, mm -hmm. the community business or just the regular citizens then could say, hey, I can plug in that hole. It's like a wedding registry, basically. I, I see what the needs are, and yes, mm -hmm. I, can, I can fill that gap. That's absolutely right. And, you know, another big piece of it is, is the human component, and we want to really encourage our community partners to think in terms of the time they have to give. You know, there are a lot of the kids in our school district who may not have a lot of positive role models in their lives outside of school. And so if we can plug in mentors, tutors into our classrooms, we, we really have the opportunity to have a huge impact in the lives of these students. Well, that's a good idea too, because then you have successful people or just people who maybe have an occupation that this kid is interested in, and it's another exposure to something else that whether it's a job or just the way a person handles their business. Absolutely. Uh, a good exposure for the kids as well. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, the, the people that are actively mentoring and tutoring in the schools come away feeling like they have been rewarded very richly as well. well. Sure. It's a great experience. Um, Ashley, uh, this, this website, I'm assuming you might be able to use some of that existing Excel spreadsheets in this technology. <laughs> Absolutely. So actually tomorrow, we are launching this Partners in Action initiative to the community um, through a Partners in Action kickoff luncheon with all of our community partners. It's being hosted very generously by the Foundation for Oklahoma City Public Schools. 
And we have already, you mentioned the software, created a profile for our current community partners. And so at the lunch, we're going to introduce the software, talk about the initiative, and encourage our community to get involved in this way. Now, you mentioned software. Is this different than a website? Is this something where they log in, or is this? It's all web-based. It's okay. all online. Um, it's very easy to use. Good. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, um, anyone who's interested in supporting the school district can use this particular system. And the, and the website is, it's like I said, very easy to use for both our schools and for our partners. So we're excited to show it to them. Well, we look forward to seeing that. Mary, uh, I, I see here this is part of a, a new vision, perhaps. Um, a five-year strategic plan to great commitment is coming up. What can we, uh, what can we learn about that? Well, that, that initiative was, was part of Superintendent New's vision when he came into the community. And he took the community through a, a multi-month strategic planning process called the Great Conversation. What culminated from that was the plan, which is called the Great Commitment. Conversation, here are the needs, here's what we're thinking, here's yes. perhaps some solutions. And so now we're, we've come to the plan. Or that, the, that's exactly right. The Great Commitment is the plan. Okay. And part of that, part of the plan, it became very clear through discussions with the community that bringing the community in was going to be an important component of success of the school district. The district can't do it alone. The school teachers and principals can't do it alone. It's going to take all of us. And the foundation's mission really is to create champions for the Oklahoma City Public Schools District. Partners in Action allows us to do that. What ultimately what we want is for our community to accept responsibility and ownership of these schools. These are, these are our schools. These are our children. Whether it is my own child or not in the school district, these are our kids. It takes a village, right? It takes a village, absolutely. Mary Malone, Ashley Arnall, again, the lunch and the Partners in Action will be held on September 24th, and we will learn more and excited to learn more as we go along. Ladies, thanks so much for your time today. Thanks, I appreciate it. Thank you.